If you enjoy part one, part two goes to the next level. Lots of PvP, a potential counter, and taking on challenging pair of neighbours. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Part two started with me buying a boat from Fishing Village and going over to the oil rig. I was able to take out a few scientists, but had a bit of an issue. No. As you can see, things weren't exactly going great. So I decided to go through train tunnels so that I could so go to airfield. Nice. Let's go. Oh my god, man! Oh. <laughs> oh, bro! Oh, I hate this game. It's got an AK. I just wasn't even paying attention. And after returning to my body, I was able to find that all of my loot was still there. The guy hadn't looted me, so I decided to continue on with my quest to airfield. I didn't put the fuse in. Oh man, I'm nearly at that. This is gonna die as well. Okay, we got one in there. So, here's the plan, boys. We will met up. We might be able to do this. And then he gives me the bullets I need. Excellent. Oh, what a run. What a run. Oh my god. Whew. I'm going to have to do a big recycling run. But wow. 275 scrap as well. That's big. Got ourselves custom. Lots of pipes. I think a tier 3 is not out of reach. And now that a tier 3 was in my reach, I decided the place needed sprucing up. So I placed a few rugs around, got set up with some electrics so that I could have three furnaces downstairs so it increased my production massively. And then I was able to get the outside honeycomb set up. I also started setting up a roof so that I could take on heli later on in the wipe. Now it's just a case of getting 25 more HQM and then we're done. We're ready. And while I was out on a roam, I was able to find this decayed base. Oh man, what's in here? Please have. Oh, they look empty. Look at all that charcoal. Could I be about to get a tier three for free? Surely not. Oh my god. Oh my god. We finessed it. We have finessed it. Oh my god. Get me over now. Boys, boys. Boys, yes, oh my god, huge, freaking huge, as if that was even possible. <laughs> oh. 
I don't think I'm going to be able to put this in. Oh, yeah, I can. There you go. Oh my god. Frick is huge. Oh man. We can make some rockets, boys. We can make them. I think it's time to spend some of this. <laughs> it's still have 200 scrap left. Crazy. And after placing down a refinery, I also wanted to set up a compound. So I probably need another seven. Oh wow. Oh, this is going to be a lot of work, isn't it? That's pretty good. I'm... Yeah, I think that works. We now have a compound, boys. It's about that time, guys. We wait four for now. Pretty good. That's decaying, isn't it? Someone's already jumped over. I'm going to continue this room and just go to Lighthouse, and then I think I'll check it out. Those are some of the worst shots I've ever hit. <laughs> Don't judge me for how bad I am with the custom. As I could hear some explosions coming from this decayed base, I thought that someone had jumped over the wall to try and raid it. There's definitely a guy in here. I wish it was daytime though so I can actually see. anything oh please have a lightning strike or something this is such an L oh my god I can't see anything I'm literally I'm dead right <laughs> I'm so dead I can't see anything at all yeah so they they live in that base over there then so annoying. Why did I take a flashlight? I'm gonna go over to the base to check it out. I need to see who lives there. God damn it. He didn't have anything. <laughs> What's going on? So, is there two of them? Is it a duo? It's all I can assume, really. I think I'm going to make a play at them. Which is a real shame, because it just means that they're free just to do what they want with that base now. But with the walls intact, I can't really, like, go in and just jump in. It's just suicide no. Oh well. I'll leave it leave it to them. I've got my own stuff to get on with. Oh my god. Why did I fluff that so bad? Oh me. Where's his gun? I oh, do have a gun, probably. I'll come back out. Ooh -hoo. You must have like a pumpy or something. I don't even know what you had. I think that that two v one made up for the massive L <laughs> I was about to have. One down. There's another. 
I wish I bought meds now. Oh, I hit him three times. Oh, okay, maybe not. Bro, he's a beamer. You know what, I don't want to risk it. I'll just go out the crossbow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. I recognise that name from somewhere. Is that my neighbour? I'm going to go find out where he lives. I'm just going to lay a load of these down and just see if it brings them out. Oh, there he is. Come on, come on. Who is it? It's him! We know where to live. These guys continue to make my wipe so much harder than it needed to be. By just sitting around with snipers and also door camping, as well as making every attempt to stop my progression. I knew that I needed to take the next step. So I took a picture of their base and I got to plan it. Armoured. Finish the rest off with X-Buy. There it is. No! Yeah. God's sakes, man. Oh, man! And in case this name doesn't seem familiar, if you remember in part one, this is the guy that killed me. So clearly he lived around the area. He was part of the duo and unfortunately they had continued the raid without me. I was able to get into the chat and speak to them so that I could come back and just check out the Hello loop. bro. I just want to see what's inside. Are you sure? We don't need it. We can know. Yeah. Alright man. Thank you. I was literally... I was... <laughs> I'm solo, so literally the second you guys came along, I was like, ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> these guys caused, one. these guys caused so many issues for me. It was so annoying. So I just had to get some revenge. Oh my God, <laughs> look at these gods. Jesus. Oh my. Cheers guys, cheers. Oh my god, they were sound. They didn't... Oh mate. I'm off. Oh my god. So, I genuinely didn't even want stuff. But I, I'm gonna hop off soon. But I just wanted to see those guys get raided. I wanted to see them come on the server tomorrow and see it all gone. Oh man, look at all this. This is gonna be a recycle run and a half. They've even flame raid TC for me. I guess they took what they wanted, which was HQM or something. And then the rest they just didn't really care for. So I'm gonna assume there was more in here that just, they didn't care about giving the excess to me. But I'm okay with sharing, considering <laughs> we wouldn't have had any of this. But yeah. I think um, I think I've got a lot to learn when it comes to raiding. I, I, don't, I don't really know what I could have done different there. I don't know how they took out the turret so quick either. And after securing all of the remaining loot inside, this was the final haul. Not too bad, eh? All right, I'm going to get this stuff home. There is a lot of HQM here. I'm going to do a lot of upgrading tonight. I really want to come off, but I still have at least one thing that I want to do. And that one thing was just going to have to wait, because as I was out on a roam, trying to get some resources, I came across this. Bro, what is that? 
It's all decayed. I was going to raid it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is all I need for the garage door on that base. And after securing the loot, I was able to carry out the final bit of raiding on this base to make sure these guys never came back again. Oh my god. These guys had way too much. You know what? I want them to know that it was me. I want them to know I was here. And luckily, after I turned all the loot back to my base so that it was all secure, Heli came out. Where is it? There it is. Hello, of course I have. Oh my god, he's actually broken my base. Holy shit, man. Oh my god, this thing is ruining me. And in hindsight, getting onto the roof wasn't the smartest of decisions. And unfortunately, Heli had left by this time. So I decided to get to the final task that I wanted to complete. And that was to go to oil rig. Although again, something got in the way. Fuck's sake. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm such an idiot. To me. Oh, he's not got anything, mate. And it was time to call in an airdrop. All right, let's make sure this comes down safely this time. I don't want to repeat what happened when I was in that cave. My cave video, I put this down and then I just got mobbed second it got close to the ground. With only luck it will land in the compound but chances of that are probably pretty slim. Oh it's dead as well. And after returning back to my neighbor's base, I grabbed the boat that was on the coast and headed over to Oil Rig. This, this sea is so choppy. Oh my god. Oh my god. I honestly have never been in a sea this choppy before. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> no. Look at this. There we go again. I don't think it's going to be possible. This is absolutely ridiculous. You don't want to screw this. I'm just going to go. This is stupid now. <laughs> Oh. That's beautiful, that. I do not have anything for this, so I'll begin it, but I can't actually take it. Oh no, I do not have the health for this. I am out. I am out. Nope, 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 nope. I just simply don't have the health. All the meds for it. Oh 
Bruder. Oh, of course you crouch. Don't report. I knew that if I returned, I could take on Oilrig. So I returned one last time to see what I could do. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. And as you can see, it wasn't exactly ideal. So I returned out for one final roam before I logged off. Unfortunately, the server pop had completely died out, but it was okay. I'd had a good wipe. And as you can see over this two part series, I'd really enjoyed myself. I'd achieved a lot and I was really happy with the outcome. I came into this wipe without any expectations. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Please go check out part one if you haven't already. And I hope to catch you in the next video. BTEV out.